All right, this is the video on the muscle fiber model. Let's dive right in. And what we're talking about are muscle fibers. Now here's a muscle. Here's another muscle. Here's another muscle. They're made up of tons and tons of muscle fibers. But if we were to zoom in and just pick one microscopic muscle fiber, that's what this model right here is showing. So what's going on here? Well, there are collections of what are called myofibrils, as seen here, that make up one whole muscle fiber. On these myofibrils, if you zoom in even more, you'll see some lines. Now this right here is called a Z disc. And one Z disc down to another Z disc, all this in here is called a sarcomere. And it includes things like these really thin lines called the thin filaments, which have actin on them. And the thicker ones, which are in here, which have myosin. Now this would be the M line right here. And a better way of looking at this is maybe if I turned it to the side and then I brought in this model right here. So this model is the sarcomere model. So we look at the sarcomere model here, you can see this big red squiggly line. This is called the Z disc, kind of looks like a Z. And you get another one over here as the two ends of the sarcomere. Now zoom back in here and you can see Z disc and Z disc. Thin lines are coming off the Z disc. That would be these thin lines right here, which are thin filaments, which have red for actin, yellow for tropomyosin and green for troponin, other things on that thin filament. But you'll notice the blue and the blue is coming off the M line in the middle of the sarcomere. And that's like over here, this middle part. So notice how this area in here is darker. And anytime filaments overlap, they give a darker appearance. Here's a picture of an actual sarcomere. I'll try to line it up with the model right here, but see the overlap? All right, but enough on this big sarcomere model. I'll get another video on that one. Check that other video out if you want to see this complete model. But let's get back to this one over here. So myofibrils, actin, myosin deep in here. But what would this thing over here be? Well, this is a nerve. This is an axon. It's in yellow. It's covered by this myelin sheath with the occasional nucleus here, nucleus here, nucleus here, and mitochondria all throughout these areas as well. So a nerve actually comes in and will touch, but not actually touch the muscle fiber. So here we can see these synaptic vesicles coming up to the synaptic cleft and the motor end plate, which is on the actual muscle fiber. So there's this little connection piece right here as this nerve comes in to the muscle fiber. And if I turn this around, you can see the nerve from the side. Pretty cool stuff. You got some fibers, reticular fibers going right here, which is part of the endomycium or this outer covering different from the sarcolemma which is this deeper layer surrounding the entire muscle fiber well what actually happens when this action axon and action potential come in and stimulates the muscle fiber well it sends a signal down this blue tube this blue tube is called a t tubule it stands for transverse tubule and that's going to activate calcium within the 
sarcoplasmic reticulum, these areas here specifically being the terminal cisternae. This is also sarcoplasmic reticulum. It kind of looks like a spider web. But right on the end, see how it like pushes against the T-tubule? That's called the terminal cisternae on either side. So that's going to cause eventually an action potential to create a muscle contraction. And lastly, these are Schwann cells. You're going to help in producing that myelin sheath. All right, this has been your video on the muscle fiber model. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Thanks for watching.